In this demonstration, I will show you how to run one of the Digital Earth Africa Sandbox notebooks. I'll be showing you a real-world example related to measuring crop health. You can find this notebook in the Real World Examples folder. This demonstration covers the Crop Health Notebook. Monitoring the health of different crops is highly relevant to ensuring food security and can potentially be used to identify underperforming fields that may need intervention. In this notebook, we use Landsat 8 data to measure vegetation health for different fields using the Normalized Difference Vegetation Index. This notebook comes pre-run, so for our demonstration, I'll now restart the kernel and clear all outputs. The first section we'll look at is the Getting Started section. This is where we load the packages we'll need to run the notebook, as well as two functions that are specifically designed for this notebook, called Load Crop Health Data and Run Crop Health App. The next step is to decide on the area we want to load, which is described by the latitude, the longitude, and the buffer, which describes how many square degrees to load around the set latitude and longitude values. We have provided some example areas to look at, or you can provide your own coordinates after checking that the data is available in the Digital Earth Africa Explorer. In this example, we'll analyze some croplands in Senegal. To set these parameters, I will now run this cell. Now that we have chosen the area we want to look at, we can run the next cell to load the data. Notice that we pass the lat long and buffer parameters to inform the function about the area to load. The load crop health data function goes through a number of steps. It identifies the available Landsat 8 data over the last two years, then masks the bad quality pixels such as cloud and cloud shadow. After the masking step, the function only keeps images where more than half the pixels are good. Finally, it calculates the normalized difference vegetation index and returns the data. The returned data is stored in the dataset object. Now that the load is complete, we can see the function identified 37 observations over the past two years, then kept and loaded 24 that met the quality requirements. After loading the data, we can investigate the health of various fields using the Run Crop Health App function, which takes the dataset we loaded, as well as the lat, long, and buffer parameters that define our area of interest. When run, the function sets up an interactive app. On the left, we have an interactive map, with a red box indicating the area that we've loaded data for. The map shows an Esri world imagery base map, which is higher resolution than the loaded Landsat data. The purpose of this map is to guide you in drawing field boundaries, which I'll demonstrate now. To draw a field boundary, click the polygon tool under the zoom buttons. Click points at the edges of the field you want to investigate, then finish the polygon by clicking the first point you drew. This will then generate a plot of the average normalized difference vegetation index for that area. On this graph, a value of 1 indicates healthy vegetation, and a value of 0 indicates non-vegetation. The cycles we can see in the graph are likely related to the growth and harvesting events. You can add multiple polygons to compare different fields, as I am doing now. From this, we can see that these two fields had slightly different but largely overlapping growth and harvesting periods. For fields with known crops, this tool could be used to examine differences in the health of the crops, which could support targeted fertilization. On a larger scale, an adapted version of this tool could also be used to help estimate crop yields, which may help with understanding food security.